Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be learning how rituals can make it easier to let things go and help us turn attachment into joy. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. Shift your awareness to your breath and allow your eyes to close when you're ready. Let's take three deep breaths together now. Take a great big inhale and hold it in and let it go. Take an even deeper breath in and hold it and full exhale. One more inhale and hold it and a last big exhale, let it all go. Now, without trying to control your breathing, become aware of its movement in your body. Start noticing any stagnant energy in your body. Maybe some old injuries, self-conscious feelings, or lingering thoughts. Second-guessing something you said earlier. Without fixating on any one of these energies, just take note of them. Then picture gathering all of these feelings and energies into a single point, visualizing it in front of you in whatever form, like placing it into a candle or a stick of incense. And then imagine all of these feelings growing hotter and hotter until they turn into ash in front of you. Then visualize that ash dissipating. As you watch your thoughts float by, repeat this action with any other lingering feelings you don't feel useful. Continue to gather and offer up these feelings for a few moments in silence. Come back now and reconnect your mind to the breath. Visualize the cleansing heat now inside of your body growing hotter with every inhale and cooling with every exhale. As you breathe, imagine hate safely building up inside of your body, burning energy that does not serve your physical body, your energy, your five senses, and your thoughts. Whatever does not serve you is an offering to the inner heat of your practice. As you visualize the heat spreading through your body, notice any places in your body where these negative thoughts and energies are lurking and feel them burning to ash. 
You could even imagine taking them out and placing them into a candle or incense stick to burn away. Continue observing this heat moving through the body with the breath. Let go of any lingering thoughts, feelings, or sensations, and return your focus to the balance of the inhale and exhale again. In many traditions around the world, sacrificial fire and the ritual of the effigy are used to cleanse a troubled individual or an entire community. An effigy is a physical symbol of unwanted energy, evil spirits, or sometimes unpopular public figures. Cleansing through the offering of an effigy, like a doll or symbolic figure, is especially popular throughout the world around New Year's to create the feeling of a fresh start. In Nepal, a paper tiger is sometimes used to attract and contain negative spirits before being set on fire. Protesters often burn symbols of their oppression to ritualistically enact their own liberation. As negativity inevitably builds up in the individual or community as tension, irritability, physical pain, and more, the ritual of the effigy offers an opportunity to displace that energy and formally let it go. Often a person need not to be troubled at all, but recognizing that life involves the buildup of certain stressful and negative thoughts, energies, and habits. Ritual cleansing has become a part of day-to-day life in many cultures, but of course a giant burning effigy is not a practical choice in our daily practice. Putting the energy that no longer serves us into a candle or a stick of incense and burning that can be much safer and easier to incorporate every day. Or simply visualizing the fire as we did earlier. Our cleansing practice doesn't need to use literal fire. Sometimes we can just effectively put that energy into a journal, writing a letter that we never send, or even channeling into art, movement, or another hobby. While it may take the power of fire, symbolic or literal, to help us release these energies, it is important that we are able to contain our fire as well. When our feelings turn into a bonfire, it may be that we burn more than we intended to. Everything has its place, and the use of ritual helps us to find safe and effective ways to deal with energies that may be toxic to hold on to. Throughout our mindfulness practice, we can become aware of those things which could be holding on to that may need to be released. And it's also through mindfulness that we can recognize the appropriate ways to channel 
and discharge that energy before it becomes harmful to ourselves or others. If we let too much of that flammable material build up without finding the right time and place to clear it out, we may find that even the tiniest spark can turn us into a raging inferno. Day by day, we can begin to let go of that which does not serve us. Come back into your body now. Turn your palms upward and cup your hands together, making a gesture of offering with your hands as if you were throwing something into a fire. Make this motion three times, exhaling each time as you release your imaginary offering. Take one last clearing breath in and hold it and let it out. Then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.